Hello guys, it's me again, Sir Marlo Tamano. Today we are going to discuss multiplication of integers. Let's go! There are three parts of multiplication. We have here two is the multiplicand, three is the multiplier, and of course the six is what we call the product. Alright? So two times three is six. Alright? Multiply. So we have here uh, 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Now instead of using x as a multiplication symbol, we can use that okay, as a symbol of multiplication. Okay. Now, 5 and 10. 5 is what we call the multiplicand, 10 is what we call the multiplier, and 50 is what we call the product. Can we consider this 5 and 10 as factors of 50? Yes, 5 and 10 are considered, or they are what? Factors of 5 instead of... Um, Telling that 5 is the multiplicand and 10 is the multiplier, pwede na natin tawagin factors of 50, right? So, we have here 5 and 10 are both factors of 50. Why factors? Because if we are going to multiply this 5 and 10, the product is 50. Therefore, no, 5 and 10 is what we call a pair of factors of 15. Right? And of course, the product is 50. There are two rules in multiplying integers. Number one, if the integers have the same signs, this one, if the integers have the same signs, their product is positive or the sign of the product is positive example number one we have here positive 5 wala kayo nakikitang positive pero that is understood no? na positive so 5 times 2 or positive 5 times positive 2 is equal to positive 10 right so, same signs po yan. Positive 5 times positive 2. Of course, the sign of the product is positive. And 5 times 5, uh, 5 times 2 is 10. Example number 2. We have here, parehong negative. Negative 10 times negative 2 is equal to positive 20. Or you simply write the product, no? Uh, without the positive anymore. Okay? And that is understood positive 20. Number 2. If the integers have different signs, their product is negative. Or the sign of the product is negative. Take a look. We have here example number 1. Tignan muna ang signs. So, we have here negative tapos times positive. Okay, pag unlike signs, the sign of the product is always negative. So, negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10. What if mauna naman yung 5? Example number 2, positive 5 times negative 2. And that is negative 10. Nakita nyo, walang pagbabago. No? Ayan. Pareho lang ang sagot na negative 10. But take note. Yeah. 
Number one, if the number of negative factors is or are two, four, six, even numbers po yan, the product is positive. When I say even numbers, we have two, four, six. Yung B lang po ng factors na imumultiply natin. Example number one, negative two times negative three is positive six. So, tignan ninyo, bilangan ninyo, 1, 2, 1, 2. Diba even yung 2? You know, 2, even. So, dalawa lang yung multiply natin na negative. Of course, that is, or the sign of the product is positive. What if apat po, apat or 4 negative factors? We have negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 2. Apat po yan. So, even po ang bilang. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, that is positive already. Okay? So, no need to negative times negative equals positive. Positive times negative equals negative. Negative times negative equals positive. Huwag nang ganun. Okay? So, pwedeng bilangin na lang natin yung ating negative factors. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is 4 since 4 even na po yan. No? Understood that is positive or the sign of the product is positive already. Okay? So, ang pansinin nyo na lang magmumultiply. 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12. Okay? So, meron na kayong positive. Tapos, isulat nyo na lang 12. Okay? Ayan po yung bilang ng negative factors. Number two, if the number of negative factors is or are one, three, five, and so on. No? And that is, so these are odd numbers. So yung one, three, five, seven, like that. So those are what? Odd numbers. The sign of the product is negative. O, bilangin natin yung imumultiply natin. So, ito yung mga negative factors. 1, 2, 3. Tatlong negative 2. O, di ba yung 3 na yan ay add number? Okay po, add number po yan. Tama? Kapag add number po yan, negative na ang sign. So, magmultiply na lang kayo. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. So, negative 8. Another tatlo rin dito sa na no, example number 2. We have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 2. Tatlo. 1, 2, 3. So, under pa rin siya ng add number. Of course, that is negative. Ayan. So, 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So, we have negative 18. Okay po. Next, number 3. Any number multiplied by 0 is 0. For example, or example number 1, we have 0 times negative 100 is equal to 0. Okay? Kahit balik ta rin mo siya, negative 100 times 0 is 0 pa rin po. There's no negative 0, nor positive 0. Understood? Okay, example number 2. Right. So, iisa lang pa yung negative natin dito. Pero may 0 as factor. So, 9 times negative 3 times 0. O. Oh. Kaya 0 na ang ating product. Okay? So, napakadali, di ba? Next, number 4. Kahit ilan pa yung ano, ah, yung i-multiply ninyo. Then, pansin ninyo sa, sa huli, meron pa lang 0. Eh, 0 na sagot. Okay po? Hindi yan. Kahit pa 10 yung i-multiply ninyo. No? Doon sa dulo, meron ng 0. Understood, the product is 0. Number 4. Any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the given integer or number. For example, or example number 1, we have 1 times negative 9, negative 9. Number 2. Negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. Okay? So, naging negative naman po yung inyong 1, positive na yung 9. Pareho po ang product, negative 9. Example number 3. 1 times 10, of course, that is 10. Clear? Question? Uh, Alright, so alam ko walang question. This is very easy. So, find the product of the following. So, what is the product of number 1? Negative 3 
times negative 7. Parehong negative. Dalawa po yan. Even. Anong sagot? 7, 14, 21. Positive? 21. Alright. Very good. Next, number 2. Positive 9 times negative 5. O, isa lang po yung negative factor natin. Of course, the product or the sign of the product is negative. So, 9 times 5 is 45. And the final answer is negative 45. Next, number 3. Negative 12 times 5. O, isa lang din yung negative factor natin. Of course, the sign of the product is negative. So, 12 times 5 is Ayan. So, we have negative 60. Yay. Next, number 4. Dalawang negative factors. Bilangin, 1, 2. So, even po yan. So, automatic, the sign of the product is positive. So, 8 times 9. Yun na lang po ang papansin ninyo. Mag-multiply na lang kayo. And that is positive 72. Number 6. Parehong negative, dalawang negative factors, negative 8 times negative 8, or 8 times 8 na lang po, and that is 64. Of course, since even ang bilang ng ating negative factors, no, syempre, positive na po yan. So, positive 64. Next, number 7, isa lang din yung ating negative factor. What shall we do? Multiply na lang ninyo 6 times 12, and that is... Negative 72. Next, number 7. Dalawang negative factors. Siyempre, positive ang sign ng ating product. So, 4 times 9 is 36. And that is positive 36. Number 9. Dalawang negative factors. Positive na po ang sagot niyan. So, 11 times 6 is positive 66. Right? Number 11. Dalawang negative factors, isang positive. Siyempre, that is positive. Alright? So, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. O, wag nang ganun. 3 times 2 na lang. 6 times 4, 24. Since dalawa po yung negative, that is positive. Ano sagot? Positive 24. Yay! Number 12. Tatlong negative factors. Okay? So, two, negative na. Ang, alam na natin kaagad yung uh, sign ng product ay negative. So, 2 times 7, 14. 14 times 3, yan. So, we have negative 42. Next, number 13. Apat na negative factors. So, we have, kapag apat po, even, under siya ng even, even numbers, no? So, we have that even number, anong sign ng product? Positive. Right? So, focus on the, uh, ano na lang, pag multiply So, 9 times 3, yun. Times 2, times 1. Of course, the answer is, ayan, positive 54. Last 2. Number 14, 72. Dalawa lang kasi yung negative dyan, kaya positive po. No? So, positive 72. And of course, the last one, number 15. Dalawang negative factors. Siyempre, positive na kaagad ang sagot. No? The product is positive 72. Yehey! Tapos na. Very easy. Intindihan? Very good. Okay. So, of course, bilang paglalambing po, no? don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment naman po, pwede. Alright? Maraming salamat po. God bless. Paalam.